Welcome to Psalm Bites, your daily devotional where we will read and pray through the entire book of Psalms in bite-sized portions. Let's begin with two short prayers inspired by Psalm 119.18 in James 1.22. God, open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your word, and help me to be not just a hearer of the word, but a doer. Today we will be reading Psalm 46 verses 1 through 3 in the New King James Version. To the chief musician, a psalm of the sons of Korah, a song for Alamoth. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling. Selah. I'm going to reread this passage. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling. Selah. Let's pray. God, we rest in the truth that even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, we know that you are established so much more firmly than the mountains or even the earth itself. As it says in Psalm 90 verse 2, Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. And though the waters of the sea roar and be troubled even unto shaking the mountains, we will rest in knowing, Jesus, that yours is the voice that calms the wind and the waves. As it says in Psalm 93, verses 3 through 4, The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, than the mighty waves of the sea. You have power over the earth, you have power over the seas, and you are set in your place, on your throne, more firmly than the foundations of the earth themselves. As it says in Psalm 24, verses 1 through 2, The earth is the Lord's in all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein, for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Knowing all of these things, Lord, we will not fear, as long as you are our refuge and our very present help in trouble. You are, you were, and you always will be the one who established all things. You are the foundation of every foundation. And upon you, Jesus, the precious cornerstone, we will build our lives and rest secure. In Jesus' name, amen.